Welcome to my world. 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 Sunrise this morning in Castleton on the Hudson, New York. Beautiful, and we're getting a nor'easter tonight. get cleaned up today this is get it done Wednesday make a bed I'm gonna sweep I'm gonna mop today as well this video is recorded a week in advance I'm gonna hang up a coat get some things off the dinner table got a stack of drinks to get put away we're gonna sweep and mop throughout make a bed my son is coming home for his winter slash christmas break so i want to get everything cleaned up he won't be home till this afternoon and it only takes me about an hour to get everything cleaned up just have some dishes to put away we're throwing our dinner i'll make the bed for my husband he went to go get our child just gonna wash it down the sink Clean sink in the morning is a beautiful thing. Boxes get down to the recycle bin and take care of this side of the kitchen. We're going to start in the bathroom this morning and get that done and out of the way. Keep your high traffic areas clean, especially when you have a full house or people coming over, like your entryway, the bathrooms, and the kitchen. Or the areas where you like to lounge or even eat dinner. Before we go into fast play, we're going to sprinkle in some of the powdered comet into the sink. I have my cloth ready to go. Get some into the toilet so it can soak for a couple of minutes. Then I like to spray down the toilet with my bang from LA Totally Awesome. Well, hello everybody. We're just a few days away from Christmas now. We're going to get cleaned up. Especially since everybody's home right now, including my son, there, And I'm so happy he's home from college. We're going to start in the bathroom here. Got the sink done. Now we're going to turn our attention to the toilet. Get it scrubbed out. The brush goes in the bowl only. And then the outer parts, never where you sit. And then I'm going to spray it down with my bang from LA Totally Awesome and a Dollar Tree. Got my cloth. Use a couple and within the bathroom so I don't use the same thing on the same surface more than once. It is laundry day and they'll both go in and to the laundry basket to get washed later. I'm going to try to get the laundry done before the nor'eastern starts because otherwise it's going to be a mess trying to get the laundry downstairs during a snowstorm. I'm going to get the sides of the toilet here. Excuse me while I bend to you. It's very tight and it's almost impossible to get but I try to do the best that I can. Now we're into the middle bedroom and I'm going to make the bed after I do a couple things on my little nightstand. That I haven't moved out of the room yet and I'm gonna move it out soon get the bed made just fluff out the blanket make the flap and fluff the pillows out that's how grandma taught me get it nice and even at the ends make sure it's tucked into the corner next time you see this room it's gonna have a teal blanket with my son here now we're gonna be taking care of the rug and shake it out I moved it in a couple different places because I didn't know exactly where I wanted it why I swept just kind of touch up the blanket there on the side. Short, long strokes. Nice small room to get it swept easily. In the mornings, I don't run the vacuum cleaner, as I mentioned in the past, because there's two ladies that live downstairs. One's 89 and one's a younger lady. And we like to be respectful of our downstairs neighbors, so we try not to do anything too loud first thing in the morning. Now we're going to take the wipe and get it on into the swiffer from Dollar Tree. 
I use these all over the house, not just on the floors. They're multi-purpose wipes. They come in a 15 count or a 20 count if I'm lucky. And I had to grab the bangs, so I disappeared for a couple of seconds. Now I'm spraying the bottle through. I get the front of the bed underneath the little wire. I'm a person who likes to have the fan on even in the winter. I'm just going to throw the rug there on the bed for a minute. It was just washed yesterday. So it's fine there for a second. Then we're going to get back down onto the floor. Flopping it out onto the floor now that we're done mopping in here. Just a light mop, not a soaking wet mop. I'm going to take care of the dinner table. Here's another area where I can use the wipes from the Dollar Tree. I love having multi-purpose items, especially with cleaners, because it makes things easier not to have something specific for each and every inch of your home. That's just expensive, and I have no place to store all that stuff, just my overstock. Now we're going to run through with the broom. Recently did a deep clean in here and pulled all the furniture from the right-hand side of the wall. And on the left-hand side, we did a clean and an organizing video. You can check those videos out in my Clean With Me playlist down below. Now we're going to switch the broom and dustpan for the Swiffer and get the floor mopped. I like to mop the floors and have it nice and clean with everybody home to make sure that no germs are being spread and that will keep your house free of colds. If you have COVID in your home, make sure that person wears their mask when they're in the main areas of the home and wipe down the bathroom as much as possible and keep the high traffic areas nice and clean and disinfected. Now we're in to the TV nook or the den, whichever you'd like to call it. I'm gonna wipe down the tabletop I've been wiping it down a little more now that my son is home just to keep it nice and clean. The front and back side, I've had this memory chest for a very long time and I use it for a tabletop. Plus you can store things and it's useful. I'm going to shake the rug out like we did in the middle bedroom. Make sure nothing's on the tabletop and get it swept up. Left, right, and short and long strokes. Then I will grab the Swiffer and we'll get a nice mop in here. Again, not a soaking mop. Just enough to get it clean and disinfected. That is why I love that bang. It's multi-purpose clean and it keeps cold germs down, and including COVID. Just do a good scrubbing with the Swiffer. A little bit of elbow grease. And again, not a soaking mop. Just so it dries quickly. Now we're going to take care of the TV stand. Been doing this a little more here and there. And take care of the TV itself. And the components, they've been staying black and not turning white from the dust, which is nice. You don't want any dust on them because they get hot and you don't want them to spark a fire if it were to. Now we're into the front bedroom and we're going to take care of the pillows and fluff them out. Jack and sticks candy wrappers in their pillow occasionally. So I like to make sure nothing foreign is inside of the sham there. I'm going to get the new blanket that you see here that we picked up for her. She was so excited. To get rid of that pink blanket and I have a beautiful nice grayish black one with a really nice print on it and it's reversible so you can have it on either side making sure the camera is still rolling I'm going to put the flannel down on that came with it and a throw pillow also came with it with two shams it was a nice five piece set and we picked up this afghan that someone made for Jacqueline it was second hand now we're going to take care of the furniture in here you're going to see part of me I took a sip of my water it gets really dry in here quickly when I'm cleaning and moving around and we're going to sweep up and get underneath the furniture alongside of the furniture alongside of the bed get it all swept up and it was really good in here today not a lot of dirt or dust so good for Jacqueline kudos now we're going to mop in here and get it all mopped up again a light mop there isn't a throw rug in here but it'll be nice and clean for when Jacqueline gets home and then we'll take care of the desk. I'm going to get behind the door. I'm also going to take care of the door itself and the doorknob. Grabbing a clean wipe and changing the camera angle. I'm going to wipe it down, including all the devices, so they're ready for Jacqueline to go. Now, where we're supposed to be getting a nor'easter, and this video is previously recorded. So just when it cleaned up and ready to go for the weekend. You'll be seeing this video on Wednesday the 21st, just right before Christmas. I like to put my videos up a week in advance so I can take my time doing things and make sure you guys have your videos to view. I'm going to take care of the garbage first in here and get that out a little later today in the middle of a very busy day getting prepped up for our son to come home. 
he has a doctor's appointment, so they won't be home right away. I have quite a few hours this morning, but it's going to be a very busy, productive morning for me as I disappear momentarily. Now I'm back into the kitchen, and we're going to put the fresh bag in. And a little later, we'll wipe down the garbage can and make sure it's clean and ready for the day. Take care of your garbage can because it takes a beating. I'm going to grab a couple of wipes because we're going to change the camera angle. I want to put the sauce that we're having for dinner tonight up on top of the air fryer so it thaws a little more. And then I'm going to take care of a mess that I made. I forgot that we had our gerbil pureed food on the counter. And we're going to just wash that out really quick so we can give the sink a good wipe down and clean up with the bang from Dollar Tree. Check out our Dollar Tree haul playlist down below and our Clean With Me playlist also available for you. I'm going to take care of the dishes. There's not very many in the sink. It's nice when you wake up to an almost clean kitchen and not have a lot to do in here. Then we're going to take care of the coffee maker and put it back together for the next day. I have my water. I get thirsty while I'm cleaning. Always stay hydrated. Now I'm going to put a couple of recycles in the bag on the back porch. That's where we keep them rather than in the kitchen where they used to be. I'm going to take care of a few more things. I'm going to wipe down the microwave and the dish and the roof of the microwave, the sides, and keep it squeaky clean and ready to go for everybody using it. We use microwave popcorn in here, quite a bit of stuff in the microwave. I'm gonna take care of the stove top and get that tray out of the stove. We like to put a cookie sheet on the bottom of the rack so it doesn't drip all over the stove and just drips on the cookie sheet. In January, I'll be doing a deep cleaning video on cleaning your stove top with Dollar Tree products. They are high end and work just as well as national brands without the national brand price. Finish wiping everything down and the hot plates, which I haven't done in a few days. And then we're going to change camera angles and take care of the counter surface with the bang. Get it nice and cleaned and ready to go. I clean multiple times a day in the kitchen after every meal prep. Then we're going to take care of the sink. I'm just going to rinse out the coffee pot. Let it drip dry and then wipe it out with the bang rather than hot soapy water today to give it a nice deep clean. When everybody's home, try to maintain your kitchen and keep it nice and clean. It is a high traffic area and there are a lot of colds and bugs going around and you want to make sure things stay disinfected. Now we're going to take care of the garbage can that we started a little earlier. Get it wiped down, including the lid. You're only going to see part of me. And then after we get the garbage can done, we're going to sweep up the floor in here and then mop it like we did the rest of the house. I mop as needed or a couple times a week. It all depends on my schedule and what we have going on here at Casa de Ridgeway. I'm going to be getting some new clothes for Christmas. I'm so excited because my clothes are very loose on me now after losing 30 pounds. I've been drinking a lot of water and I've been losing weight between that and the walking I've been doing. Just going to take care of the mopping. This does a really good job and there's no dirty mop heads to clean. You just take the rag off the Swiffer and, and dispose of it right into the garbage can. I never flush them down the toilet. You don't ever want to do that. Get taking care of that and getting hung up. And we are done. And we're done. All cleaned up and ready to go. Deep clean the sink and the counter surfaces with the LA Totally Awesome from Dollar Tree and the floors. Garbage can. Stove top area. I did it in the oven. I'm going to be doing a deep clean in the oven with my Dollar Tree oven cleaner soon, right after the new year. I do it three to four times a year as needed. The bulk stuff I'll put away a little later. It's lots of stuff to do before 12 o'clock today. Table's ready to have dinner with my son tonight. Took care of TV area. Give it a nice shine down. Jacqueline's room is ready for after school. During the day, so you're not heating up the rooms, shut the door to reduce your energy bill. We do giveaways every 100 subscribers. If you're interested, you must comment in order to qualify. Please be kind. You need to be subscribed to United States residents. We're not responsible for lost or stolen prizes by mail. We can email some of the gift cards or applicable. Laundry will go in later today, hopefully before the storm starts. I'll take that done in a little bit. This bedroom is all taken care of. 
as we're doing the final walkthrough here, I'm going to check out the bathroom. I don't do the shower on camera because it's old and rusty. That just looks nice because he recently painted it. He's going to gut it out when we move. Sink is cleaned up and ready for the day. I drip dry my brush before I put it into the brush bowl. And no scuzzy water goes in it. Very old, old home. We have a newsletter. You can email me, contributes1268 at yahoo.com. Looking for seven people to give out a five items price pack from Dollar Tree, valued at $6.25. Same rules apply to the gift cards. You need to comment if you're new. Don't forget. Thank you for everybody's continuing ongoing support. I really appreciate each and every one of you from the bottom of my family's heart. And don't forget to subscribe. Happy cleaning. Happy holidays from Let Us Eat.